Okay. And audio check, audio check. Okay. So I don't have too much time. I have to go to work soon, but I wanted to take um, a, a little bit of time to go ahead and, and go over everything that's going on in Raid. But before that, I'm on my wife's account. I'm not going to log in for quite some time. I, I, I want to see how long it takes for like how long it how long it takes for the that secret battle pass that everyone was talking about how long it takes for it to come back so i'm going to be experimenting with my wife's account here because she doesn't really play anymore so i'm not going to log in for i'm, I'm going to stay logged off let's see it's 11 10 2023 20, right now i'm going to stay off six months is the time frame that everybody's been talking about so six months from now let me ask siri hey siri when is six months from today? May 10th. May 10th of 2024. I'll log back into this account and, and we'll see if that secret battle pass with Elva pops up. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'm, I'm logging off and then we're going to... Hey, Tavish, what's up, dude? Thank you for coming. And we're going to log back into... Um, we're going to log into my main account and we're going to talk about everything because I woke up and there was, there was quite some... Uh, buzzing going around one of the first things i wanted to do was to put everything uh, obviously look at everything that's on the offer for xena and the battle pass break down everything that for uh the pass in terms of price i haven't looked at her kit or anything i, I posted in discord um her skills and everything but i did not actually stop to take a look so i'm gonna read everything and give my first impression she's a barbarian i think right is she not i thought she was a barbarian oh that's banner lords i'm dumb xena okay here we are yeah it's elva or two other champions you can pick which one you get yeah Okay, so some people already bought her. Sword of Redemption attacks one enemy. Sword of Redemption attacks one enemy twice. It ignores 3% of the target's defense, uh, defense for each buff on the target. Will also ignore shield buffs if the target is under two or more buffs. So, double hitter on the A1 ignores 3% of the target's defense for every buff. And if they have two or more, ignores the shield. AoE ignore 5% of the target's defense for each buff on the target, and then steals 20% of the turn meter from each enemy. Cannot be resisted if they're under two or more buffs. So going up against somebody like Siffy, who usually you get outsped. And then she places all those buffs. So you're, you're stealing 20% of the turn meter from each of the enemies. You're stealing it, so she's taking it and she's putting it onto herself. And if there's enough, then I guess she can take an extra turn. Essentially, right? And then there's ignoring mechanics there. AoE ignore 10% of the target's defense for each buff on the target. Resets the cooldown of this skill if it kills two or more enemies. So she could be taking it back to back. Passive. Increase the champion's attack by 10% every time that they use an active skill up to 100% and then resets each round. For the greater good. So she's giving this passive self buff whenever she uses a skill. Also has a 50% chance of randomly changing this champion's weak hits to normal, strong, or crit hits. Interesting. Chance increases to 100% when attacking enemies under two or more buffs. So Hydra, I'm thinking? Fills this champion's turn meter by 100% and places 50% increased buff uh, increased attack buff on this champion whenever eight or more buffs are placed on the enemy team in a single turn. Yeah, so that seems like a Hydra thing for me. Uh, Ally Arena, 33%. Okay. Hey, Turbos, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate you saying hi, bro. Yeah, so she definitely looks solid. In fact, somebody on my Discord shared a quick snippet of something here. Let me Let me see. Where was it? 
right here. Somebody added this here. Вот она здесь будет хорошо работать по своей пассивке. Give me a quick little showcase. Сифи походила, да, Зена сразу же забафалась, плюс еще и вырвалась вперед, обогнала быстрого Каймера, Юмеко и, разумеется, без духа. Юзаем сейчас А3. Так, давайте посмотрим на ее урон. Yeah. So she just nuked everybody. Now, it doesn't... I don't think the... Let me see here. All right, so on Solus 87, on Siffy 87, on Kaimar 144, 142 on Yumiko. And they had three buffs each, or oh, four buffs on Yumiko because of her veil. And then he also shared the multipliers here. 1.8 attack for the A1, four times multiplier on the A2, and then 4.1% for the A3. On top of her ignoring mechanics. Looks like a solid champion. The question is, do we pay for her? Because that's that's essentially what's going on here. They have the free version of the pass, right? You get these rewards. Nice little avatar or avatar there. But to get the actual champion, you have to pay. And you gotta pay 40 bucks. Would you pay $40 for a champion? That's kind of where I'm at. I'm like, uh... Now, there are some people who will. And I might be so inclined as to doing it after I give it more thought. But there's not going to be too many other chances to get her. Where, where is that? Let's see. Actually, it might have been on their Discord. Hold on. Let me, let me pull up their Discord. Because I know I saw it somewhere. Here we are. Champion pass. Okay, so this is the introduction. Champion pass. Our skills. You'll be able to summon. Okay, you'll be able to summon Xena from ancient. Okay, I guess my cat just wants to join in on the conversation. Well, you want to play some raid? You'll be able to summon Xena from ancients or sacreds only on selected days when some boost events are active. There will be no way to get Xena from shards outside of dedicated summon boosts. So if I'm reading this correctly, and I think I am because I, I read American. Oh, by the way, happy Veterans Day to all of those who served or who are going to serve. Fellow veterans out there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Kitty want to sit. Yeah, he just want to sit. He just wants to hang out with daddy, huh? Little Siberian. Okay, so it seems to me like outside of these specific dates, out of these events, you're not going to be able to get Xena. Oh, well, it says down here, further summon boot, uh, boost dates. Further summon boost dates to be announced. So I guess they are going to have extra events in the future where you will have the chance to. But this seems like the only guaranteed way to get her currently right now unless you happen to pull her off a of 10x or if they have one of those events where it's like oh you pull 200 ancient shards and then you get her universal tears all rights reserved yeah i was just reading this little part down here so do we pay for xena so do we pay for xena do we pay the 40 dollar price tag well let's go ahead and actually bring the offer calculator in i'm gonna put this down here actually put this down. you can hang out somewhere else okay this my screen here popping up on my screen all over the place okay so the in-game price we'll call it 40 bucks and i'm going to put in everything that's on this calculator or in the offers. Okay, he keeps coming up here. Just, just okay, fine, fine. He just wants to hang out. All right. So we have the what is that? I forgot what these are called because I don't ever use them. So we got one boost right there. We got a five star chicken, and everybody's gonna have different point values or price values for for themselves. 
for example, I don't really place a value on XP boosts or the Polarium points or the auto battles or chickens because you just get so many at a certain point. And then, let's see. Get uh, 20? One set of 20? I'm thinking to myself, should I even put it in? Because... Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put in the. To me, they don't. They don't have any value, so I'm not even gonna. No, I should give a full. I'll. I'll do it. I'll put everything, and then I'll take off the things that I don't value. All right. So we get one set of. But there's only twenty. This is for accounting for fifty. Okay. Anyway, um, let's see. The chicken, polarium points. They don't even have polarium points here. So. Oh wait, no, they do. Get five Polarium points. 25k. Two, three. Oh, 75k, because you get that right there. 25 energy. And then a five star glyph. Do they have glyphs here? I'm not seeing glyphs. Okay, so we'll put the glyphs and a cruel set piece of gear. I don't have anything for gear here. I guess keep that in mind. Uh, 50 gems, put 50 gems in. Another set of multi battles. Five brews. Not looking too good. Not looking too good. Five brews and move this over. So we got two and then another fifty, one twenty five. Hope I don't have to do too much math. Another piece of cruel gear. It's also five stars only, so I don't really need that. And then the potions. We have five greater potions of oh, superior potions. Another 25 for energy. Another set of polarium points. Another set of multi battles. And the bruise. 10 and clan boss keys piece of gear avatar um, and then gear you can't really put a price on that either at least not yet subjective 150 250 gear another 50 gems it's a hundred. XP boost. Rain points. Change that to three. Another set of potions. Another set of multi battles. So that's four. And how many gems is that? Another 50 gems. Gear, more potions, so that's 10. Got superior potions to be exact. And then we have another set of energy. 10, oh, 100, sorry. Polarium points, so that's 20. And then another 50, so that's 400. Another, okay, so we add two, that's six, quick math. Where is the... Oh, another XP boost, so that's four. Another glyph, but I don't think they have glyphs here. Yep, nope, still not showing up, okay. More points and multi-battles, so that's five multi-battles. And how many points is that? 10, so this becomes 30. More gear, and then an ancient, or uh, not ancient, um, 
sacred shard. Okay. And then, of course, there's the champion themselves. So, you know, I'm missing some stuff here because you can't put in values in this calculator for gear as well as the, the glyphs and the avatar. or Yeah, the, the glyphs and the avatar and the champion herself. But you're looking at 19, 20 bucks aside from all of those things I mentioned. I guess we could be a little generous. Call it 25, excluding the champion if you want to add in all those other things and then me personally like i don't value multi-battles i don't value polarium points and i don't value the clan boss keys brews pretty much mean nothing to me as well chickens mean nothing to me superior potions i'll take the boosts don't mean anything to me either so if I were to buy this, I'm looking at 16, and then you know, I, I barely value these things because you just get these for free anyway, as well as the sacred shards. Like, you just get all this stuff from doing clan boss, superior potions as well. All in all, it doesn't seem like it's 40 bucks worth. But I mean, the pieces of gear could be really good. I mean, look at, look at these. That, that could be really nice. You, you never know. Still on the fence about it. I might I might be inclined to get Xena just because I'm a little bit of a collector. So there's that. But of course, let me know what you guys think. What about the fiery singles path? We have to go over that real quick. Okay. So summon champions, get artifacts and accessories. I had put a bet that it was going to be upgrading. But we just have to get them. A lot of juicy rewards. A lot of point values that you need to attain. Kira. Now, luckily, I already have Kira. So I'm not going for Kira. However, there are two epics I do need to get. What's her name? Tatsu. So you should have... You should have Mikage by the end of this. There you go. Tavish is going to get it. Yeah, so I do need this dwarf as well as... Okay, I'm giving you pets, dude. I, I literally have you. I'm giving you pets. Yes. He, he just keeps like trying to shove his face into my hands. And I'm like, I already got you, dude. Okay. Yes. So I do need Enda. And I do need Fire Gun. So I will probably... I might go down the path to get... Um, this is Enda, right? This is Enda and this is Fire Gun. So how many points do I need? Okay, look, just go, just go. Moving around too much, dude. It's looking like a, a lot of a lot of work. Straight summoning event, basically. Cause to to run dragon or, or spider will take some time. What's the point value for for everything? How many points do you get? So we have three days to do oh here we go. Summoning from a sacred, you get 4,500. Primal shards, you get 18. I need, I'm going to need 110, about 110. Yeah, that's, that's pricey. I'm going to need like 81. Let me do the math real quick. Hold up. Let me, let me do the actual math just to see. Oh my gosh, I'm doing way too much math. Okay, we'll do... Do one by one, 500 plus 600 plus 2,000 plus 4,000 plus 7 plus 75 plus 9, 3 plus 10, 3 plus 15. 
Okay, so this this line right here is already just 55. And then plus 500, plus 1250, plus 2000, plus 2500, plus 7K, plus 8, plus 9, plus 10, plus 15. Yeah, so on the nose tab, as she said it, 110. So I need 110 and 850. Uh, 110, 850. And if I wanted to summon my way to that, which I don't think I have, because I don't, I, I burned all my shards. I burned a lot of my shards with, with all the events going on. I don't even think I got it. Like, Ancient Shards are the most that I have, but the point values are not going to be high. 300? Let me see. So, 110. We'll call it 110. Let's see. I have 180 sacred... Uh, not say I wish I had 180 sacreds. 180 blue shards times 300 will still only get me 54. There's 11 primals off of a 2x. Primals are what, 18? 18? Yeah, so I guess, you know, add another 18. That's only at 72. Imagine I get the champions. I need 54 sacreds to finish, thanks Tavish, to finish the event. Yeah, so... That's that's the whole deal with, with Mikage. Um, in light of that, I don't think I'm going to, just because that's wild. I mean, it, it's nice, you know, getting the, the legendary tomes, getting these guaranteed epics. The potions are always appreciated. The stones, the... Um, Eternal Soul Coins would be nice. I could always use the Legendary Chaos Or Books are not bad. This is kind of whatever. This is this is nice. Take that whenever I can. I don't mind the potions. But yeah. I, I, well, one, I don't have the shards for it. And I'm not going to buy. Because I'm free to play. But the question remains, as always. Will I end up buying Xena? I might. Honestly, I just might. Because content. You know? Alternatively, 75k to 185k energy. Uh, energy. 185 energy. At the top end. If you only farm. That's crazy. That's insane. That's a lot of energy. Well, yeah, she looks pretty spot on with, with um, the way that she was in the TV show. I used to watch her growing up. Like, she would just be on the TV, little six-year-old me, just eating cereal, not knowing what's going on, just having her on the screen. Love my wife. That's all I'm going to say. She looks solid. Uh, let's see. Low defense. I mean, she's an attack this champion. She's only level one here. What's her... Someone just get it. Yeah, someone just bought it right now. It's always funny to see. Uh, where, where is? Uh, let's see. Not an orc, a barbarian, Xena. So fifteen hundred base attack, thousand. You know, speed. All right. Crit damage. They give her that extra crit damage. They give her extra resist too. Forty. Yeah. I don't know, Tavish, are you gonna are you going for Xena? I do need to get I'm so close to Mikage. These two to get Tatsu. 
And then I just need this one guy, Centurion, in order to get the where where grin sun cursed. Does this count? This doesn't count. On the four accounts you drive? Yeah, but... Yeah, it's it's a lot. It's very uh, resource intensive. Like, you're going to get all... On all four accounts, the all four champions. Or all five, technically. That's interesting the way that they they structured Mikage. Like they they basically said you can get all these champions, but you're gonna have to shell out a lot of resources. Oh, straight pulling. You drive twenty, but only four have the resources. Gotcha. Only straight uh, shard pulls. Gotcha. It's insane. That people still have resources even after everything that just happened. And then I haven't gotten around to testing Timid and Kaja together. Not yet. I'm so behind on, on, on everything. But wifey and I want a house, so we work, we work every day, Monday to Saturdays now. It's temporary. It is temporary. He's a mid champion, or she's a mid champion. Guaranteed vault guardian for forty or sixty. Yeah. So that guy, Samael, is a SP driver, I think. The champion, all that bad. People are looking at the side quest rewards and complain about the costs. Then they'll complain on the next 10x when you pull $100 worth. Ah. Pull hundreds of dollars of worth for shards for the Vault Guardian. If you only see the negative, you're always going to lose. That's true. I mean, there, there's some truth to that. I don't think you're being negative. I think you're being objective. I think uh, oftentimes... Oftentimes negativity gets skewed for uh, pragmatism. So, okay. So, so, so. so I do have to leave. I do got to get going. It's almost time for work. I start at uh, 8.30, which means I got to be out of here by 8. So I have 30 minutes to go uh, tell my wife I love her and then shower and stuff. But I might be on tonight if I'm not video editing because I've been slacking on the video edits. But for now, I'm going to be signing off. So thank you guys for everybody who, who came through and see you on the next one. Bye. Later, Tavish.